Hi there, everyone, and welcome to Canadians.live. How are you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Makeup. How are you guys? I hope you guys are doing good. So, today we have a new topic. A new amazing topic. What is it called? Sorry. Moving. So, moving companies. So, today we are going to go ahead and move um, with one of... Oh, with one of our friends so basically what happens here is that um, instead of us using like a moving companies what we did is we rented a truck so basically I'm one of the guys who has tried moving companies and had a lot of trouble with them so basically what they do you go ahead and reserve this cheap moving companies and what happens is they come to you on the day of moving so basically you you book the elevator from the old building and you book the elevator on the new building sorry again what happens is that they come on that day of the moving day and you're waiting for them. You have already booked the boat elevators. And then they tell you, oh, no, this is very hard. This is not tough. You know, you know what? We'll, we'll charge you extra like 300, 400, something. So basically, it's already the last day or last few days and you have to move out of the house or the apartment you're in and you have booked the elevator. So what do you, what, what do, you do? It, you just need to pay them if you call some, someone else or the company. I don't know of us you can get and also i had another experience when i moved from a city to a city so when i moved from calgary to from toronto to calgary what happened is that the company that i was going to work for the um, they told me they have given me uh, a company name a moving company so they are professional companies right but they charge a lot a lot of money it was like about three thousand five hundred four thousand i need to move the stuff so what i did is i found a company who's going to move it for me for one thousand five hundred so I went to that company, they said, you know, three days and we'll get your car in Calgary in three days and um, your furniture will be there in a week or something. So I said, okay, good, cool. I went to Calgary, me and my family on the plane and we reached there, we rented the hotel, I rented the car. I said, you know, rent a car for three days and that's it. So I went and I rented the car and basically what happened is that um, uh, after three days, four days, five days, my car did not come. And I had to wait for two and a half months for my car to arrive. I've been calling. Even even my furniture arrived, after, I think, after two months from that, com that company, sorry. And what I did, I called, the, I, called, I called everywhere. And I called this guy every day. And even I was calling from my job and I had a problem with my work. My new... My new work seeing me calling every time. So I called that guy many, many times and he just ignored tomorrow, after tomorrow, in a week, three days, four days, and that's happened. So I realized, you know, this guy's gonna take a long time. Uh, the car that I rented was there with me for about, I think, two weeks instead of three days. Then I have to pay the rent for the car. Then I moved from the hotel and I found the house and I was waiting for the furniture again. And we stayed in the house and empty, no furniture. And we were sleeping on the ground. We had to buy some things from Ikea just, you know, to sleep on until our furniture comes. The furniture comes after, I told you, two months. And the car comes in a horrible condition after three months. And what I want to do from the shipping company, uh, I took the car. I drove it for a few days. Then it stopped working, the transmission. And it had a problem because it was parked for a long time. So that's that's my experience. Now, when I moved from Calgary to Toronto, what happened is that another company but I paid extra uh, the furniture was supposed to arrive in specific like two weeks I guess <coughs> sorry and then it it, 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 it arrived like in a, in a month and a half the furniture was new I got the furniture scratched uh, it was in horrible condition and again no one can help you both companies I tried to call them I tried to call the police for the one from Toronto to Calgary I called the police they tell, the police what they say you know what we can't do anything for you you have to sue him and okay uh i called the anti-fraud i think there's an anti-fraud canada oh sorry a fraud canada i called them up and they just you know write a report i called the company there's another company it's i can bbb something or something you know the right to report about companies the same thing you can't do anything just a report so it's a horrible experience so right now what i do when i move we just i just you know rent a truck from u-haul it's for like uh i guess 9.99 if it's small, uh, the one we booked today was about $39. It's a bigger one. And, you know, I call my friends. They move with me. But if I move from a city to a city, when I move 
to uh, as an example to British Columbia, I sold all my big furnitures, and what I do uh, the small ones or the uh, the boxes. I called Greyhound. They came and picked it up for a very very cheap price. I think it was like for seven boxes for about three hundred or something. They came and took the boxes from my house, and in like in a week it was already there in 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 British Columbia. So that's the easiest way. Uh, that's what I suggest. But if you have money, you know, book uh, like a, a trusted company. Always checks for ratings. Always check for the. I think there's a website called BBB Credit or something. Uh, always check for reviews and all these things and take care and if you can just run the truck get your friends to move with you if you don't have friends you know just you know get helpers from KG or anywhere and they will come and help you out for a very cheap price and that's it okay let's go and see I'll show you the moving <laughs> 